and 20 cents. 23.20 on the triactor. Now your exactor combination. Two and one. Nine dollars and 20 cents. And we're all set now for the fourth race. We've seven starters behind the gate. There's Maritime Pipeline with Jill Barrio, Talc at Mike Downey, Calfito Sugar and Steve Mahar. Sand Fellow with Morris Benson, Dewey Dynamo Wayne Mahar, Fleet Silster Brody Charlton, I'm a Seahawk Doug Falcons. Here they come. They're off. Coffee, no sugar. Steps out, grabs the top. Maritime pipeline on the rail, racing second. Now Fleet Sealster charging up on the outside, goes to second. Maritime pipeline is racing a third. Talc is a fourth. They swing by the eighth pole now. Coffee, no sugar, and Fleet Sealster's gone to the rail. Racing second there. Maritime pipeline is a third. Talc is fourth. Sandfella racing a fifth. I'm a Seahawk on the outside, Dewey Dynamo moving up on the inside, and there goes Fleet Silster onto the top. And Fleet Silster is the leader as they go racing up by the quarter pole, 32 and 3. Into the top turn, Fleet Silster's out and off by two. Coffee No Sugar is second. Maritime Pipeline is a third. Then a Talc racing a fourth. Sand follow Dewey Dynamo. I'm a Seahawk. Off the turn, and here they come. Through the stretch, they're racing to the half. The leader by two lengths is Fleet Silster. Then moving now, second on the outside, Coffee No Sugar. Then a Dewey Dynamo to third, Maritime Pipeline. Talc, I'm a Seahawk. Sand, the fellow trails. They were five and a half and five and three in the red of the turn. Racing now to the five-eighths pole, Fleet Silster. A length and a quarter, Coffee No Sugar. Challenging a second, Maritime Pipeline third. Dewey Dynamo outside is a fourth. Talc Racing fifth. I am a Seahawk Sand Fella. They drive on to the three quarter pole, and the leader is Fleet Sealster by two. Dewey Dynamo three wide drives on to second. Maritime Pipeline is now third. Sand Fella up by through on the inside, fourth. I am a Seahawk now to fourth. They're neck and neck for the top as they swing around the turn. On the inside, Fleet Sealster on the outside, Dewey Dynamo. I am a Seahawks, a strong third right now. They make the turn for home, fanning out three wide. Now they are fanning out four wide. It is a Fleet Sealster, Dewey Dynamo. And up strong on the outside, but it's going to be Fleet Sealster, Dewey Dynamo. Sand Fella tight for fourth between I am a Seahawk Maritime Pipeline, then Talc and Coffee No Sugar. And the time for the mile, 2, 12, and 2. And the result of the fourth race official, Maritime Pipeline fifth, Talc was sixth, Coffee No Sugar was seventh, Sand Fella third, Dewey Dynamo second, Fleet Seals to your race winner, and I'm a Seahawk fourth. The race times quarter 32 and 3, the half 105 and 3. Three quarters, 138 and three. The mile, 212 and two. Feature pays, Quinella, 56. $100 and 80 cents. The triactic combination, 654. 3,665 dollars, 10 cents. 654, 3,665 dollars and 10 cents. Hennessy. Maple Grove Shadow with Winston Kimball, Space Champ and Lonnie Stokes, Hillview Star, Steve Mahar, Maritime Pipeline, Jill Berrio, Dewey Dynamo, Wayne Mahar, Tarport Tassel, Bill Nicholson, and Gold Buster with Mike Downey. Here they come. They're off, and as they leave the wire, Hillview Star paces for the top. In between horses goes Maple Grove Shadow and Get a Grip, racing up on the inside as they hit that first turn. On the outside, Hillview Star has the chop. The Shadow is in between horses with Get a Grip racing third at the back of the pack. Off stride, that's Tarport Tassel. They go to the opening quarter, and uh, Hillview Star has the chop now. Maple Grove Shadow and Dewey Dynamo up on the outside, driving on from third. He goes on. Then it's uh, Get a Grip and Space Champ. Mayor Retire Pipeline and Goldbuster Trails by that first quarter, by that marker, and 30 and 3, and 
Now Dewey Dynamo has taken the top and he leads now by a two and a half lengths. Hillview Star racing second. Maple Grove Shadow is third. Tarport Tassel has pulled up with a broken wheel. They hit the three-eighths and off the top turn. They come racing down the stretch in front of the grandstand. Dewey Dynamo cuts it out. Hillview Star, the Shadow racing third, and he is out to challenge now. Being followed with cover is a get a grip. Then it's Space Champ. Maritime Pipeline and Gold Buster makes a move. But in front goes Maritime Pipeline. They're by the half. By that marker and 103 and 2. Into the clubhouse turn for the second time. Dewey Dynamo still has the lead. And Mayor Maple Grove Shadow at his wheel in racing second. Hillview Star locked in racing third as they go to the three quarters. Dewey Dynamo, the Shadow challenging second. Hillview Star is racing third. On the outside, racing fourth. It's Get a Grip. Then Space Champ, Maritime Pipeline, and Gold Buster. And they go by the three quarters. Neck and neck for the top, on the outside, by a head. Maple Grove Shadow, Dewey Dynamo is racing a second. Rushing up a strong third goes a get a grip. Racing, driving on three quarters, 136 and three. Into that far turn, get a grip now. On the inside, Maple Grove Shadow, Dewey Dynamo, and we come a driving home. Get a grip has the top, Maple Grove Shadow. On the outside, Maritime Pipeline is coming on. Hillview start to the inside, Gold Buster is there, but get a grip has the top in there. Here they are at the line, get a grip. Then Maritime Pipeline, tight for show between Maple Grove Shadow and Gold Buster. Time for the mile, 208 and two. We parade now the unofficial winner of the night's eighth and featured dash, it's number one, get a grip. Get a grip of Bay Mare 5 by Distant Thunder out of Take Hold. She by Romano Hanover. Owned by and trained by Art Green of St. John. Jody Hennessy drives tonight. Get a grip picks up her third winning trip of the season. Tonight she wins in 208 and 2. Number one, get a grip and driver Jody Hennessy. The result of the eighth race now official. Race eight official. Get a grip, your race winner. Maple Grove Shadow, third. Space Champ, sixth. Hillview Star was fifth. Maritime Pipeline, second. Dewey Dynamo, seventh. Tarport Tassel did not finish, pulled up with a broken wheel. And Goldbuster was fourth. The race times were by the quarter in 30 and three. Past the half in 103 and two. Three quarters, 136 and three. Get a grip your winner in 208 and two. Feature pays exact on the combination of one, two. There were no one, five tickets sold. The one, two combination pays $17. Your triactor on the 152 company. Here they come, Sweet Pea. Here they come, the exhibition park. Always say hi here once again, hardest racing fans. We're coming in from high atop the grandstand here at a sunny exhibition park. Temperature just above the freezing mark. Our track labeled good this afternoon. Had a couple of qualifying trips in 2 8 and change. And uh, the track probably will get a little bit better as the afternoon wears on due to the effect of the sun and the wind. We have nine races for you. Do hope you enjoy our show tonight. And away we go. Here's race one. And we're all set now for the first race. We have five starters behind the gate. They're at the top of the stretch. Easy time, Gal and Steve Mahar. Don down, Steve Mason. Sheer Bear, Charlie Frost, Space Champ, Lonnie Stokes. French Irish Ron Robertson, here they come. There, off for the easy time, Gal steps out and she has the lead in on the rail. Dawn down takes cover, racing second behind his chair bear. Outside, he's driving on the third, Space Champ has fourth. French Irish trails fifth and they're by the eighth pole now and up the back stretch, chair bear. Goes winging up for the lead, easy time, Gal. On the outside, Shear Bear, the two of them racing neck and neck. Easy time, Gal, Shear Bear. Backs off now, settles it on the rail, and he's racing second, and Don down his third. Space Champ racing fourth. French Irish trailing fifth, and Easy Time Gal, the leader, by the opening quarter, 34 and two. Round the top turn, Easy Time Gal in command. Has the best of the length and a half, and Shear Bear second, Don down his third. Space Champ racing fourth, French Irish fifth. They swing through the stretch now. Here they come. They are racing to the half of it's Easy Time Gal and Shear Bear. Up on the outside, Space Champ drives on from third, coming on. Behind him with cover, French Irish. Don down, trails it on the rail. 
and easy time gal, the leader by the half in 104 and three, they're into the turn. Racing now to the five-eighths pole, the two leaders at it neck and neck. Easy time gal on the inside, space champ on the outside, gets ahead in front. They go on up the back stretch, on to the three-quarter pole, space champ. Easy time gal on French Irish, moving third, is now second. Easy time gal fading third. Don Dalla driving on fourth and going on on share. Bear trails fifth as they go by the three quarters pole. Space Jeff, the leader there, 36 and 2. Space Jeff, French Irish lapped down the leader. Space Jeff, a half length. French Irish, a strong second. Then Don Down. They, they come by the seven eighths pole. They're neck and neck for the top. Swinging for home on the outside. French Irish coming to the top. Space Champ on the inside, Don Down is third. It is going to be French Irish. She wins this one, then Space Champ second, Don Down third, Cher Bear. And Easy Time Gal winds up fifth. And the time for the mile, 2.07 and 2. Parading now, the winner of our first race, it's number five, French Irish at Bay Mares, five years. She's by French Chef out of Jimmy Forwood by Isle of Wight. Owned, trained, and driven by Brown Robertson of St. John. French Irish scores her first winning trip this season. This afternoon, she wins in 2.07 and 2. And the result of the first race official, Easy Time Gal was fifth. Don Down third. Cher Bear was fourth. Space Champ second, French Irish, your British winner of the times, a quarter, 31 and two, half 104 and three. Three quarters, one, 36 and two on the mile and seven and two. Quinella four and five returns $24.70. The track, the combination, the numbers five, four, two. Coming up on the board momentarily. 175.20. I'll sit down for the second race. Seven starters behind the gate approaching the top of the stretch. There's Talc with Mike Downing. Mountain North, Winston Campbell, Blood Orange, Lonnie Stokes, Stratton Bubba, Rick Armstrong, Plato, Morris Benson, Suffolk's Buddy, Jill Barrio, Keystone, Lynx, Doug Falcons. Here they come. Clear off Stratton Bubba, goes quickly to the top and on the rail. Talc is racing his second, driving up on the outside. Racing on to second goes Suffolk's up Buddy, winging for the top. Suffolk's Buddy now the leader as they go by the eighth. Stratton Bubba racing his second, Talc has a third, and he's out to challenge from third and rushing on. Talc drives on to second. Now he goes a winging a four, and he grabs the top, and Talc is the leader. Suffolk's Buddy is second, Stratton Bubba third, then the Keystone Lakes racing fourth, Talc the leader by the opening quarter, 31 seconds, racing round the top turn, Talc, then Suffolk's a Buddy, Stratton Bubba, Keystone Lakes out to challenge now from fourth, then it is Mountain North, Blood Orange, and Plato trailing the field, they swing through the stretch, here they come, they are racing to the half, and it's Talc and Top. Strong on the outside, Keystone Lakes winging for the top, and she gets there. Keystone Lakes is the leader on the outside as they go by the half in 102 and 3. They're out of the turn. On to the 5 eighths, Talc again. Keystone Lakes hanging a second, Suffolk's Buddy racing third. Stratton Bubba, he is fourth, Mountain North, Blood Orange. Out of contention, play doing up the back stretch. They go to the three quarters, and it is a talc. Keystone Lakes is second, Suffolk Buddy third, and there goes Keystone Lakes again. Out from second, challenging for the top. They're neck and neck as they go, racing out by the three quarter pole. By that marker, one, 34 and four. Keystone Lakes on the outside, talc is on the inside. Neck and neck and nose to nose as they come to the seven eighths pole. Talc has the best of it. On the outside, Keystone Lakes, Blood Orange. Now it comes to third, Suffolk Buddy fourth. Mountain North charging up from fifth. They come for home. Neck at neck is Keystone Lakes. Then Talc, and here comes Blood Orange. Three of them to the line together, and it looks like Talc tight between Keystone Lakes and Blood Orange. Mountain North 
Suffolk's body played all. Stratton Baba. Time for the mile. Two, eight, and four. And for Reading now, winner of our second race, number one, Talc. Big gelding five years by Justin Passing out of uh, Powder by Nero. Owned by the EMS stable at Mitchell Downey of Fredericton. Trained by Susan Downey, Mike Downey driving third, winning trip this year for Talc. This afternoon, two, eight, and four. The result of the second race official, Talc, your race winner. Mountain North was fourth. Blood Orange, second. Stratton Baba, seventh. Plato was sixth. Suffolk's Buddy, fifth. Keystone Lakes was third. They were by the quarter 34 and the half, 102 and three. Three quarters, 134 and four, the mile, two, eight and four. Your feature pair, Triactive, one, three, seven pays, 25 is 60. And we're all set now for race three. We have six starters behind the gate, approaching the top of the stretch. On the rail, Kate Finesse with Mike Downey. Lakes at Dusty, Doug Falcons. Domino Rex and Brian Moore. Beached with Owen Davies. Maritime Pipeline, Gino Barrio. Coffee No Sugar, Steve Mahar. Here they come. There off Lakeside Dusty bidding for the top from the outside. Coffee No Sugar's going for it. Up on the inside, Kate Finescent. Now they're three wide, neck and neck, racing round the turn. Lakeside Dusty on the outside. Kate Finescent on the inside. Neck and neck, nose to nose. They go on up the back stretch, driving on to the quarter. Coffee No Sugar's outside, racing on the third. Then Domino Rex up tight, fourth on the rail. Beached is fifth and Maritime Pipeline trails and they race on by the quarter pole and the two leaders still at it, neck at neck. On the outside, Lakeside Dusty on the inside, Kate Finesse, they were by that opening quarter, 30 and two fifths. Round the top turn, they come to the three eighths pole, Lakeside Dusty Park, Kate Finesse racing second. Coffee No Sugar outside third has a cover. Now they swing through the stretch, and here they come. They're out of the half. It's Lakeside Dusty on top, but he's parked. Kate Finesse racing second. Coffee No Sugar third. Domino Rex of the rail is fourth. Maritime Pipeline outside fifth. And Beast just trailing in on the rail, and they were by the half. 102 and 1. They're into the turn, driving out of the 5 8 pole. Kate Finesse. Lakeside Dusty hanging a second. Domino Rex is third. Coffee No Sugar three wide now. Driving on to third goes on. Coffee No Sugar second. Goes ringing for the top. And following her up the backside goes Maritime the Pipeline. It is Coffee No Sugar. Maritime Pipeline bidding for the top. They're neck and neck it now. Maritime Pipeline grabs the top three quarters. One, a 34 and four. Top turn Maritime Pipeline moves away. On top now by three. Coffee No Sugar is second and Beach comes on to second now. They hit the head of the land. It is Maritime Pipeline. Beach just challenging the second. Coffee No Sugar has a third. Domino Rex comes on from fourth. But it's going to be Maritime Pipeline. She wins it going away. Then Beach. Then tight for third between Coffee No Sugar, Domino Rex. Then Kate Finesse and Blake's at Dusty. And the time for the mile, 2.05 and 4. And for Reading now, the winner of our third race, it's number 5, Maritime Pipeline. A chestnut mare, six years, by quality blue chip, but a valorous brick by Gene Abb. Owned by Fairroth Investments of St. John, trained and driven by Jill Barrio. The second winning trip this year for Maritime Pipeline. It's her season's best. Winning this afternoon to five and four. Other result of third is now official. Kate Finance was fifth. Lake Sant Dusty sixth. Domino Rex was third. Beached was second. Maritime Pipeline, your race winner. Coffee No Sugar was fourth. And the race times quarter thirty and two fifths. Half one oh two at one. Three quarters, 134 and four, and the mile, 205 and four. Now your feature page of exact combination, five and four, that returns $65 and 20 cents. Board momentarily. 
The Daily Double, rather, one and five, returns eleven dollars. And then your triactic combination of five, four, and three. Four hundred dollars and fifty cents. And we're all set now for priest four, five starters. Rosemary's Choice scratched. Behind the gate, there's Calavita Lindsay and Steve Mahar. Dr. Chaos with Gary Vincent. C.E. Fury and Jody Hennessy. Maple Grove Dorian with Winston Campbell. L.F. Eagle with Brian Moore. Here they come. Clear off, Dr. Chaos going to the top and from the outside, L.F. Eagle racing on the second, Calvary to Lindsay is third on the inside, up on the outside driving fourth, C.E. Fury, Maple Grove Dorian trailing the field and they're by the eighth pole now, late drive out up the back stretch racing on to the quarter pole and Dr. Chaos in command, Dr. Chaos out by two lengths, then L.F. Eagle. Racing second, Calavita Lindsay has a third, C.E. Fury has fourth, Maple Grove Dorian trailing, and Dr. Chaos, the leader, by the opening quarter, Four. 34 seconds, they're into the top turn, Dr. Chaos, but two, then L.F. Eagle racing second, Calavita Lindsay has a third, C.E. Fury racing fourth, Maple Grove Dorian trailing fifth, they're by the three-eighths pole now, and they spring off the top turn. Now they come racing to the half, and the leader is Dr. Chaos. L.F. Eagle is second, Calavita Lindsay has a third, C.E. Fury has fourth, Maple Grove Dorian trailing a fifth, and Dr. Chaos, the leader by the half in 107 and two. They're out of the turn, driving on to the 7-8th pole, and it is Dr. Chaos. L.F. Eagle is second, Calavita Lindsay, C.E. Fury, Maple Grove Dorian, by the five-eighths and now they go on up the back stretch racing to the three-quarter pole, Dr. Chaos, but two, then L.F. Eagle, Calavita Lindsay, C.E. Fury out moving fourth, Calavita Lindsay has gone to second, the leader by the three-quarter pole is Dr. Chaos by that marker, 140 and two-fifth, top turn, Dr. Chaos, Calavita Lindsay challenging a second, L.F. Eagle has third, then at C.E. Fury and Maple Grove Dorian, they hit the head of the land and they swing for home. Dr. Chaos pacing on top. Calavita Lindsay on the outside, C.E. Fury on the inside, L.F. Eagle, but it's going to be Dr. Chaos. Dr. Chaos, then L.F. Eagle tight for sure between Calavita Lindsay and C.E. Fury. Maple Grove Dorian, a fifth, and the time for that mile. Two, eleven, and one. Parading now, the winner of our fourth race, number three, Dr. Chaos. Brown horse four years, the quality blue chip of Nancy Nickman and Simond. Owned by the FAA Q Hugh Stable of Hampton. Trained and driven by Gary Vincent. The first winning trip this season for Dr. Chaos. He wins this afternoon in two, eleven, and one. Out of resort of the fourth race official, Calavita Lindsay fourth, Rosemary's Choice scratched, Dr. Chaos, your race winner, C.E. Fury was third, Maple Grove Dorian fifth, L.F. Eagle was second, race times quarter 34 seconds, the half 107 and two, three quarters 146 and two, and the time for the mile, two 11 and one. All set now for the fifth race with seven starters, Yapadoy and Brian Moore, Ruth Bent Gary, Jill Barrio, Dewey Dynamo, Steve Mahar, I'm a Seahawk, Doug Falcons, Sandfellow, Morris Benson, Guaranteed Success, Jody Hellesey, Maple Grove Shadow, Winston Campbell, here they come. There, off and Yapadoy quickly grabs the top and Ruth Bent Gary, racing a second. Guaranteed success upside, racing on the third. Dewey Dynamo has the fourth. Maple Grove Shadow racing a fifth. But it's I'm a Seahawk and Sandfellow Trails. They're on up the back stretch, racing down to the quarter pole on Yapadoy's on top of two. Then Roof Bent Gary racing a second up on the outside. Guaranteed success. 
Drives on the third, two eight Dynamo on the rail fourth. Maple Grove Shadow is fifth by a Seahawk. Sand follow trails the rip by the quarter, thirty and four fifths. Top turn Yapador but two and roof bent Gary second. Dewey Dynamo goes to third. Guaranteed success on the outside park is fourth. Maple Grove Shadow moves up on the inside now fourth. And they spring through the stretch. Here they come, they're racing to the half. It is Yapadoy cutting it out. He has the best of it by two. Roof bent Gary his second. Dewey Dynamo now third. Maple Grove Shadow fourth. Guaranteed success. I'm a Seahawk moving up on the outside. And the sand full of trails moving on the outside. They were by the half and two and one. Dewey Dynamo and Roof Bent Gary hooking wheels. Roof Bent Gary pulls up. The rest are scattered. And uh, some of them back pacing. Uh, Dewey Dynamo back pacing all that. Leaves Yaffadoy on top by about 15. Dewey Dynamo second. Maple Grove Shadow. I'm a Seahawk. Sand full of and guaranteed success. And Roof Bent Gary has pulled up. Yep, Padoy, the leader, all by himself, by the three quarters, 133 and two. Swinging around the turn, it is a Yep, Padoy, on top by about 20 lengths. He's the leader all alone. As they come out by the seven eighths, do a Dynamo driving second. The Shadow was third. I'm a Seahawk fourth. Heading home, Yep, Padoy, all by himself. A battle royal for second. I'm a Seahawk. Do a Dynamo. Maple Grove Shadow. It is Yep, Padoy, all alone. Then uh, I'm a Seahawk, Maple Grove Shadow, Dewey Dynamo, Sand for a guaranteed success. Roof Bent Gary pulled out, and the time for the mile, 2.05 and 2. After rating now the winner of the fifth race, number one, Yapadoy, Bay Horse, six years by Meadow Weston of Lucky Fuller, she by Fuller Napoleon, owned, trained, and driven by Brian Moore of Grand Bay. For Yapadoy, it's his ninth winning trip this year. It's it's a not hit the joker, but indeed to win a car, or at least play along with us here in Top Card. Listen to what Blake has to say about how you get a hold of us. That's right, Jim. If you'd like to join us on Top Card, right... From the four hole is at nine to five. The favorite is the outside horse, the one we talked about, Seltzer Blue with John Campbell going from the number eight post position. And we're ready for the start and the call from John Bothy. And uh, they're off. It's Count Con for the lead. Hustled up on the outside, Chef's Magic. Round the first turn. And it's Chef's Magic on the outside uh, to the front early. With Count Con second, Nap Sugar in third. Gap of a length and a half to Smart Alley in fourth. Another two to Laser Beam. Then a length and a half to Hubris. Two back to Seltzer Blue. And three to Yankee Tradition. The bottom quarter in 29 and 2. And it's Chef's Magic leading it. Charging up on the outside, Smart Alley. Count Con is third. Nap Sugar fourth. Another length to Laser Beam. Followed by Hubris. The trailers are Seltzer Blue and Yankee Tradition. They approach the half, and Smart Alley is now taking over the lead. Quickly rushing up on the outside is Laser Beam. Chef's Magic now third. With Hubris, the outside of fourth, the by the half in 59 and one. On to the far turn, and it's Laser Beam, down to the front by a length. Hubris, the outside second, with Smart Alley in third. Seltzer Blue, a second over fourth. Chef's Magic, shuffled back to fifth. Nap Sugar, the outside sixth, and the Yankee Tradition, and Count Khan. They go by three quarters and 128 even as they turn for home. It's Laser Beam in front by ahead. From between horses, Hubris. Up on the outside, Seltzer Blue. Laser Beam with Hubris and Seltzer Blue on the outside. And Seltzer Blue takes command and begins edging away. It's all Seltzer Blue in front. 
Great last quarter. Tiny little horse, but let me tell you, he can fly. Got an excellent trip in the able hands of John Campbell. That's right. Luke Ida, the owner, was recently looking at a publication. He saw an article on Seltzer Blue. There's only 14.1 hands, as you can see, second over right here. He faxed it to his trainer, Kenny Sieber. He went to look at the horse, and they bought it for 110000 Last year, he was 13 for 13, but made 68000 racing in the Maritimes in the Canadian Fair Circuit. And now they raced him in Yonkers. He won his first start. Was interfered with last week. He's 14 for 15 going in. Now he goes for the big money, and he wins handily here on the outside. This is a 56 last half that he's closing into. So individually, it's 55 and 2 for John. And a very good effort also for Hubris, the other Canadian invader in the race. First over, and he hangs tough to qualify for Mike McDonald. But two Canadian imports, one, two. Seltzer Blue looks like he might be the real thing. Seltzer Blue, Lou Guidersource, LPG Standard Braid Associates, Bonnie Castle, and MRF Racing Club in New Jersey, New York. Kenny Sieber trains, John Campbell on the bike. The favorite Seltzer Blue. You know, Seltzer Blue goes uh, this 40, Saturday night, going for something like $360,000. We've got to thank Aubrey Wood for uh, recording that off a dish and giving us the uh, film, and we hope to have Saturday nights for you next uh, Thursday night when we're back again. Okay, the starting gate's on the back set. We'll be turning that in just a moment or two, and we're all set for race six. And we're all set now for the sixth race. We have seven starters behind the gate. Head Games and Gary Vincent, Clay Doe, Morris Benson. Mindale Braves with Doug Beckwith. Count Marks, John Davidson, Dewey's Dynamo with Wayne Mahar, H. F. Clarence with Doug Falkins, Young Fancy Free with Steve Mahar. Here they come. There, off in Mindale Bree steps out, grabs the top. Up on the inside, Head Games Racing, second, that is Count Marks. Racing up on the outside, third, Play Doe has fourth on the rail. Dewey Dynamo swinging wide, racing a fifth. Then H.F. Clarence and Young, a fancy free. They're on up the back stretch, driving on to the quarter in Head Games. Moves to the top, Mindale Breeze racing a second. Dewey Dynamo drives up on the outside, a strong third and going on. Count Marks racing a fourth. Now that's Young Fancy Free Play Doe. H.F. Clarence trails the field. They were by the quarter, 31 and a fifth. They're into the top turn. Head games on top and up on the outside. Dewey Dynamo lapped on the leader now. They're neck and neck as they come on by the three-eighths pole and off the turn and through the stretch and out of the half. Neck and neck for the top. On the outside, Dewey Dynamo now. Head games racing second. Mindale Breeze right there at third. Count Marks is racing a fourth. Young Fancy Free fifth and Play Doe. H.F. Clarence trailing the field. And they were by the half 102 and one. Head of the turn now. They drive on to the 5 eighths pole. Joe E. Dynamo. Head Games racing second. Mindale Breeze is third. Then Count Marks a fourth. Young Fancy Free Play Doe and H.F. Clarence. They're on up the back stretch, driving to the three quarter pole. Dewey Dynamo and Head Games and Mindale Breeze. Count Marks and Young Fancy Free. Then we go back to Plato and H.F. Clarence, and they are by the three quarter pole. By that marker, 135 and three. Top turn, Dewey Dynamo, Head Games. Mindale Breeze up on the inside. Count Marks comes on. He's coming on to second as they hit the head of the lane. And they make the turn for home. Dewey Dynamo and Count Marks is second. Mindale Breeze and Head Games. It is Dewey Dynamo and Count Marks is coming to him. He's caught him in their neck and neck as they come to the line. And now it is Count Marks. Dewey Dynamo. Tight for show. Head Games. Mindale Breeze. H.F. Clarence. Play Doh. Young. Fancy Free. And the time for the mile. Two, eight, and one. Parading now, the winner of the sixth race, number five, Count Marks, Bay Horse Five, a skipper Jean Marks, out of Marcon Countess, she by Jimmy Norman. On by Carol Gilmore of Sussex, trained by Wilson Gilmore, John Davidson driving the first winning trip this year for Count Marks, 208 and 1. Now the result of the sixth race official, Head Games was fourth, Plato fifth, Cherry Mander was scratched. Mindale Breeze, a third. Count Marks, your phrase for him. Dewey Dynamo, second. H.F. Clarence was sixth. Young Fancy Free, seventh. Race times, quarter 31 and a fifth. The half, 102 and one.
three quarters, 135 and three, the mile 208 and one. There's a move great for you, the starters in our sixth race. This dash is for Pacers. It's a condition pace with six starters, racing for a purse of $850. Two betting features, Quinella and Triactor. Number one is Oblin Dawn, entered and driven by John Davidson of St. John. The two, Maritime Pipeline, owned by Faroth Investments of St. John with Jill Berrio aboard. Horse three is Macmore Gentry, owned by John Trites of Moncton. Steve Trites drives. The four, Dewey Dynamo, owned by Ron Chamberlain of St. John. Steve Mahar will drive. Dewey Dynamo, excuse from post parade. The five is Nala Borstar, owned by John Davies of St. John. The driver will be Mike Downey, and horse six, Milford Abbey, owned by Mark DeSalle of Raymond, Maine, Winston Campbell driving. Six starters. Th six race starters behind the gate and approaching the top of the stretch. On the rail, there is Oblin Don with John Davidson, Maritime Pipeline and Jill Berrio, Macmore Gentry, Stephen Trites, Dewey Dynamo with Steve Mahar, Nalabor star, Mike Downey, and from the outside, post six goes to Milford Abbey with Winston Campbell. Six starters, here they come. There, often as they leave the wire, Maritime Pipeline bids for the lead and racing up on the inside. It's Oblin Don and Dewey Dynamo takes third as they race into that first turn. Maritime Pipeline takes the top now. She leads a length and three quarters. Oblin Don and Dewey Dynamo racing third as they go by the opening eighth pole. Then it's Macmore Gentry. Nalibur Star in the trailer is Milford Abbey. Up the back stretch, they race to the opening quarter and Maritime Pipeline shows the way, leading by two and a half. Oblin, Don, and Dewey Dynamo racing third. They're your first three as they go racing by the first quarter, 30 and one fifth. Then it's Macmore Gentry racing fourth. Nalibor Star, Milford Abbey sees the rest of them. Into that far turn, they drive to the three eighth pole. It is Maritime Pipeline. Her lead has been cut to a length and a half as they go by the three eighth pole. Oblin, Don, and racing third, Dewey Dynamo. That's Macmore Gentry up on the outside now. He comes to third. Dewey Dynamo is fourth. Nalibur Star racing with cover fifth, and Milford Abbey trails but moves on the outside from sixth. By the half, and uh, Maritime Pipeline took them by that marker with Macmore Gentry driving up on the outside second. They were by the half in 103. Into the clubhouse turn for the second time. Maritime Pipeline and at her wheel racing second. Macmore Gentry caught in third. Oblin Don, Nalibur Star racing up on the outside comes to third. Oblin Don is fourth. Dewey Dynamo and Milford Abbey to the three quarters. The two leaders go neck and neck. On the outside by ahead, it's Macmore Gentry. Maritime Pipeline racing second. And three wide, uh, that is Nalibur Star, and Dewey Dynamo is four wide, racing four wide by the three quarters in 134. In between horses, Nalibur Star now takes the top. Macmore Gentry right there, racing second, racing third, three wide, Dewey Dynamo, Oblin Don. Maritime Pipeline has dropped back in Milford Abbey Trails. Off the seven eighths now, and they come driving for home. Into the inside, Macmore Gentry. Nalibur Star is looking for room on the outside. Dewey Dynamo comes on. Coming to the wire, it's Macmore Gentry. Nalibur Star, Dewey Dynamo at the line. Looks like Macmore Gentry, Dewey Dynamo. Then Nalibur Star and Oblin Don. Time for the mile, 2.06. More Gentry. Macmore Gentry is a bay pacing horse. Five years by test of time. Out of Heather Betsy, she by Meadow Russ. Owned by John Trites of Moncton, trained by Steve Mahar. Steve Trites drives this afternoon. Macmore Gentry picks up his seventh winning trip of 1990 this afternoon in 206. Part with Jill Barrio, legitimate power Mike Doyle. Dewey Dynamo, Steve Mahar. Jet Step, Doug Falcons. Lewis's Pride with John Davidson. French Ivories and Ron Robertson. Kate Finesse with Brian Moore. And Carrot River with Ross McDonald. Eight at the gate, and here they come. They're off Jet Step, taking them out of there, up on the outside. Kate Finesse drives out and wide. Carrot River driving for it, and they're three wide into the turn. Neck at neck for the top. Jet Step in between horses, Kate Finesse outside. Carrot River racing a third. Up the back stretch now onto the quarter pole, and Kate Finesse gets a nose in front, and she moves out. Jet Step is second. Lewis's pride goes to third. Carrot River backs off. Moves to the rail is now racing a fourth. Then Dewey Dynamo has a fifth. French Irish on the outside. Legitimate power. 
And a rap is hard, trailing far back. They were by the quarter, 30 and two-fifths. Racing around the top turn, Kate Finesse and Jet Step, then Lewis's Pride racing at third. Carrot River do it, Dynamo out at moving. They come out by the three-eighth pole now and tipping off the top turn. Now they come racing through the stretch. They're out of the half, and it is Kate Finesse, Jet Step, do it, Dynamo out challenging, and now second, Jet Step is third. French Irish and Lewis is pride, Carrot River legitimate power, and a wrap is hard. They were by the half, 102 and 4. Head of the turn, they drive to the 5 8 pole now. Pacing out on top, Kate Finesse. Up strong on the outside, do the Dynamo. Jet Step racing third, French Irish fourth. Lewis is pride, Carrot River legitimate power. They're neck at neck as they drive to the three quarter pole. Kate Finesse on the inside. Dewey Dynamo up strong on the outside. Jet Step right there, third. They were by the three quarter pole. One, 33 and three. Head of the top turn, Dewey Dynamo now on top on the outside. But Kate Finesse comes back again. She grabs the top and is the leader. As they combine the seven eights and they make the turn for home. Kate Finesse, Dewey Dynamo. Here comes French Irish strong on the outside. Jet Step moving up on the inside. And it is going to be French Irish Kate Finesse tight between Dewey Dynamo. Jet Step, then Lewis's Pride tight between Carrot River Legitimate Power. And then a rapper's heart. And the time for the mile 204 and 4. The result of the third race is official. Third race official. A rapper's heart with broken gear finished eighth. Legitimate power was sixth. Dewey Dynamo third. Jet Step was fourth. Lewis's Pride fifth. French Irish, your race winner. Kate Finesse was second and Carrot River seventh. The times quarter thirty and two fifths, half one oh two and four. Three quarters one thirty three and three and the time for the mile to four and four. All set for the fourth race, field of eight behind the gate, Lakeside Dusty Steve Mahar, Tolan Hanover, Doug Beckwith, Get a Grip with Jody Hennessy, Merritt Tablet. Series behind the gate and approaching the top of the stretch. Dr. Chaos with Gary Vincent, Domino Ranks Ross McDonald, Burden of Freedom with Steve Mason, Island Kaisik, Jill Berrio, Guaranteed Success with Jody Hennessy, Highway 401 and Henry Smallwood, Ranger Vic, Bernie Charlton, Bayside Traveler with Mike Downey, trailing Trevor's Charm with Brian Moore. Here they come. They're off a superstar as they leave the line. Dr. Chaos up on the outside goes guaranteed success in between horses, and uh, Dr. Chaos is down and back on her feet, scattering the horses, sending Bayside Traveler down along with Ranger Vic, and Domino Rex is down. The field is scattered, and we have a loose horse as well. By the eighth pole, they make their way up the backstretch for the quarter, and a Trevor's Charm is on top. Burden of Freedom Racing second, guaranteed success is third, Highway 401 fourth. Those are the only four horses left remaining in the race as they go by the first quarter. Four horses in the race by the opening quarter in a 31 and a piece into that far turn. Racing on towards the 5 eighths pole, it's Trevor's Charm. Racing second, Burden of Freedom, guaranteed success, and a Highway 401. Four horses left in the dash as they come off the top turn and come racing down the stretch in front of the grandstand. Showing the way, it's Trevor's Charm, then Burden of Freedom, guaranteed success in Highway 401. Watch the action in the turn, gentlemen. There is some crowded area in there by the half. Trevor's Charm on top by that marker in 103. Into the clubhouse turn for the second and final time. It's Trevor's Charm, Burden of Freedom, guaranteed success in Highway 401. Racing on now by the 5 8 they drive to the three quarters. Trevor's charm and out from second to challenge comes Burden of Freedom. Guaranteed success send to Highway 401 still trails to the three quarters. Trevor's charm leads a length out from second again. Comes a Burden of Freedom and guaranteed success tips out three wide. Now Burden of Freedom on top by the three quarters. Burden of Freedom by that marker, 134 and 3. It's Burden of Freedom. Guaranteed success has come to second. And Trevor's Charm is third. Highway 401 fourth. 
Getting on now, they come off the 7 8 and they come driving for home. It's burden of freedom and guaranteed success. Trevor's Charm comes on again. Highway 401, burden of freedom, guaranteed success, and Trevor's Charm again in between horses. Now it's Trevor's Charm and burden of freedom at the line. Trevor's Charm wins the third leg of the Labatt Blue Crown Series, burden of freedom second, guaranteed success, and Highway 401. Time for the mile, 205 and 4. Okay, here's the start. We're going to see the spill going into the turn. This uh, Dr. Chaos. It goes down first there. You see him going down, scattering the trailers, tipping some bikes. And so far as we know right now, everybody comes out of that one not too bad. The result of the 11th and final is now official. Race 11 official. Dr. Chaos did not finish. Domino Rex did not finish. Burden of Freedom was second. Island Kaizik did not finish. All set for the first race. Eight starters behind the gate. Head cams of Mike Downey. Fly Fly Siggy, Jody Hennessy, Never Dream It All, Burley Charlton, J.B. Pendle, Rick Armstrong. Glengal, Jolly, Steve Mahar, and Davidson, one. Mr. Micey brought his head games in between uh, horses, Fly Fly Siggy, three wide, never dream at all. Now they're two wide, neck and neck, battling for the top, and head games has it by half a length. Fly Fly Siggy's on the outside, racing second. J.B. Pendles moved up on the inside, now racing third there. Never dream at all, gets to the rail, racing a fourth. Glengal, Jolly has a fifth. B.J.'s Noble moved to uh, six. Then it is a Braymore Paco, Mr. Micey trailing. Head Games was the leader by the opening quarter. Head 31 and three. They drive on into the top turn of the goes. Glengelt Jolly out from fifth. Rushing up strong on the outside. She's fourth. She's now third going on up front and cutting it out. It is a Head Games with Glengelt Jolly driving up to second on the outside. Through the stretch they come. They're racing neck at neck. Up for the lead to the half. Glengal Chelly on the outside. Head games racing second now. BJ's Noble comes to third. Fly Fly Siggy's fourth. Never dream alone. J.P. Pendle, Mr. Micey, Bray Moore, Ponko, the half and four. Round the turn, they drive to the five-eighths pool. Pacing with the lead. Glengal Jolly. Head games racing second. BJ's Noble. Fly Fly Siggy on the reel. He's a fourth. Never dream it all, moving a fifth. Then J.B. Pendle, Mr. Micey, Braymore, Paco, they go to the three-quarter pole. Glenn Gal, Jolly, a length and a half, and Head Games racing a second. Then B.J.'s Noble, Fly, Fly, Siggy, Never Dream It On. J.B. Pendle, three quarters, one, 36 and one. Top turn, Glenn Gal, Jolly, now but two and a half. Head Games racing a second. They come out by the seven eights. They make the turn for home. Glenn, Guile, Jolly. Head games, BJ's Noble, Fly, Fly, Siggy, Never Dream Malone. Glenn, Gal, Jolly. Then the head games, BJ's Noble. And here they are. And Glenn, Gal, Jolly wins it tight for second. BJ's Noble. Head games, Never Dream Malone. They were tight. Mr. Mice, CJB, Pendle, Fly, Fly, Siggy, Braymore, Ponco, and the mile in. Two, eight, and four. At parading now, the winner of our first race, number five, Glen Galchali, a bay mare of four here. She's by Brightest Star, out of Riverside Tammy by Primo. Owned by the Jelly Lake Stable of St. John, trained and driven by Steve Mahar. Third winning trip this year for Glen Galchali this afternoon, two, eight, and four. Now the result of the first race official, Head Games was fourth, Fly Fly Siggy, seventh, Never Dream Alone was third, J.B. Pendle, fifth, Glengal Jolly, your face footer, Braymore Ponca was eighth, B.J.'s Noble, second, Mr. Micey, sixth. Race times, they were by the quarter, 31 and three, the half, 104, three quarters, one, 36 and a fifth, and the time for the mile, 208 fifth race. We've got a field of seven behind the gate. On the rail, Fleet Silster with Freddie Charlton. And Power Mack and Ron Robertson. Trojan KT, John Davidson, Nellifer Star with Mike Downey. Bright Jennifer Steve Mahar. 
Trusty Bilbo, Gary Vincent, have a recall. Strategy for the fifth race behind the gate, top of the stretch. Fleet Sealster, Bernie Charlton, Power Mac, Ron Robertson, Trojan KT, John Davidson, Oliver Starr with Mike Downey, Bright Jennifer, Steve Mahar, Trusty Bilbo, Gary Vincent, Sand, Fellow Morris Benson, here they come. They're off, and Fleet Sealster takes them out of there, charging up on the outside, goes Trusty Bilbo. Power Mac racing third, Trojan KT. She is fourth, and now every star, Sand Fella, Bright Jennifer trailing on the rail, and they swing around the turn by the eighth. On up the back stretch now, they go racing to the quarter pole. Fleet Sealster cuts it out. He leads for three. Power Mac is second, Trusty Bilbo. He's back to third on the rail. Trojan KT has fourth, and now every star, Bright Jennifer, Sand Fella now trails. Fleet Sealster was the leader by the quarter in 30 and two fifths. He takes him into the top turn. Fleet Sealster, one in hand, leads for two and a half. Power Mac racing second, Trusty Bilbo third. Trojan KT and Oliver Star starting to move. Bright Jennifer Sand Fella. They come through the stretch now and they come racing to the half and it's Fleet Sealster leading by two and a half. Power Mac is second. Trusty Bilbo. Oliver Star on the move from fourth. Trojan KT, Bright Jennifer moving, and the trailer is Sand Fella by that half, 101 and 3. Round the turn they go over the 5 8 pole. It is Fleet Sealster now, but two. Power Mac racing second. Now Oliver Star driving up strong, going on from third. Now Oliver Star now second. Power Mac is third. Bright Jennifer outside, she's fourth. Trusty Bilbo now fifth, and Trojan KT and Bright Jennifer. Dipping out three wide, three wide, neck at neck by the three quarter pole. One thirty three and three and bright Jennifer pacing quickly to the top and moving away. Now but two, now every star and Fleet Sealster. Then Trusty Bill both four, Trojan KT, Power Max, and Fella. Heading home it is bright Jennifer. Now every star racing second, Fleet Sealster, Trojan KT. It is going to be bright Jennifer. Nanover Star, here they are. Bright Jennifer, Nanover Star, Fleet Sealster, Trojan KT, Trusty Bilbo, then Power Mac, Sand Fella. Time for the mile. 205. And parading now, the winner of our fifth race, number five, Bright Jennifer. She's a Bay Philly, three years by Willowbird, out of Seabright by Tarport Irvin. Owned by the Jenny Lake Stable of St. John. Trained and driven by Steve Mahar. Third winning trip this year for Bright Jennifer this afternoon to five. And that's a driving triple so far this afternoon for Steve Mahar. And the result of the fifth race is now official. Fleet Sealster was third. Power Mac, sixth. Trojan KT was fourth. Nottaber Star, second. Bright Jennifer, your race winner. Trusty Bilbo was fifth, and Sand, a fellow, was seventh. They were by the quarter, 30, had two-fifths. The half, what a one. the top of the stretch, on the rail, Shellamark Moe with Jody Hennessy. Clarified and Mike Downey. Arapa's Hart, Jill Berrio. Kate Finesse with Brian Moore. Dewey Dynamo, Steve Mahar. Made of Luck, John Davidson. Bonds Boy with Colleen Clancy. On the outside from post eight, Lewis's Pride and Doug Falkins. Eight starters, here they come. They're off and leaving the wire. Good start. Four of them out there battling for that lead. In between horses goes Kate Finesse and Clarified, working up on the inside. As they hit that first turn, Clarified has the top. Kate Finesse second up on the outside. Made of luck coming to third. Arapa's heart is racing fourth. By the opening eighth fall, and they go to the quarter, and it's Clarified with Made of Luck. Up and at him on the outside, driving for the top. Clarified, and now Made of Luck takes the top. Clarified settles for cover. Now he's racing second with Kate Finesse racing third. Arapa's heart is fourth. They're your first four by the quarter, 30 and two fifths. And out from second again comes Clarified. And Clarified takes the chop again with Made of Luck settling back to second. Kate Finesse is third. Arapa's heart. 
Dewey Dynamo moving from fifth, followed by Shellamark Moe, then Bond's Boy and Lewis's Pride. Off the top turn, they come racing down the stretch in front of the grandstand, and Clarified shows the way with Made of Luck racing second. Now, Kate Finesse is off the rail and challenging from third. In pursuit, racing with cover, it's Dewey Dynamo, then a wrap is hard. Shellamark Moe, Bond's Boy, Lewis's Pride. They were by the half in 102 and 2. Into the clubhouse turn they go for the second and final time. Clarified leads a length and three quarters. Made of luck into Kate Finesse on the outside coming to second. Made of luck is now racing third as they go to the three quarters. Dewey Dynamo tips out three wide rushing on from fourth. To the three quarters, clarified. On the outside, three wide, Dewey Dynamo has come to second. Kate Finesse in between horses, racing third. Up on the inside, made of luck, fourth. Shellamark Moe is three wide and strong, fifth. By the three quarters, 134, and Dewey Dynamo now moves to the top. That's Shellamark Moe, strong on the outside, coming to second. Dropping back to third, it's clarified. Kate Finesse, made of luck, a wrap is hard. Lewis is pride and Bond's boy, and they come off the top turn, and here they come for home. Dewey Dynamo and Shellamark Moe is strong. Racing third, clarified. Dewey Dynamo, Shellamark Moe, Shellamark Moe, and Dewey Dynamo now as they come to the wire. They're tight. Too tight to call. We'll need a photo. Shellamark Moe and Dewey Dynamo tight for show as well between Kate Finesse and Clarified. Time for the mile. 204 and 4. The judges have called for a photo for win in the 10th race. In the photo, first to parade, number 5, Dewey Dynamo. A bay gelding seven by Captain Howe out of Nebraska, Queen. She by X Arvin, owned by Ron Chamberlain of St. John, trained and driven by Steve Mahar. Also in the photo, number one, Shellamark Moe. Shellamark Moe, a brown gelding four by Seedling Herbert out of Tangerine Herbert. She by Quiet Man. Owned by Keith Silliker of Kensington, Prince Edward Island, trained and driven by Jody Hennessy. We wait for a photo for win. The result of the 10th race is now official. Shellamark Moe, your race winner. Clarified was third. Arapa's Heart, sixth. Kate Finesse, fourth. Dewey Dynamo, second. Made of Luck was fifth. Bonds Boy, eighth. Great news. Out of the Meadowlands on Friday night, Seltzer Blue, our horse of the year here last year. Undefeated 13 times in the Maritimes last year. Winning and becoming the fastest Maritime bred standard bred of all time. Friday night at the Meadowlands with John Campbell driving Seltzer Blue, a winner, one fifty-three and two. So we take uh, take off the cap and we tip it to Hazel Scarf and Dr. Hugh Baird, the folks who bred that colt. A great feat and great news for maritime breeding. Seltzer Blue, a son of quality blue chip who stands for service in Hampton, one fifty-three and two. The fellow says. There weren't no grass growing under his feet. We hope you enjoy our show this afternoon. It's 10 miles long. Looking for some quick tips. Hope you enjoy the show. Away we go with race one. All set first race. Six starters top of the stretch. Lake said Dusty Steve Mahar. Shia boy Sean Shannon. Remember to have Jill Barrio. Loon Bay Lady, Doug Falcons. Tradition and John Davidson and Dr. Dividend with Gary Vincent. Here they come. Way off, Lakeside Dusty pacing and top in on the frail. Shia Boy up on the outside, challenging his second. Tradition on the outside, she's bracing third. Remember Nav has a fourth in Loon Bay Lady. Dr. Dividend trailing the field and they brace around the turn there by the eighth. Lake of one off the back stretch, driving to the quarter. It's Lakeside Dusty, a length and a half. Shy a boy on the rail, racing a second. Tradition has third. Then remember Nav, Balloon Bay Lady. Dr. Dividend trailing the field, and Lakeside Dusty is the leader. And they were by the quarter, 30 and three fifths. Top turn, Lakeside Dusty, a length. Shy a boy racing a second. Remember Nav. Tradition is third. Remember, Nav is fourth and Tradition. Out to challenge now from third. They're by the three-eighths. Off the turn now through the stretch onto the half. It's Lakeside Dusty in command. And up strong on the outside. It is a Tradition challenging for the top. Then Shia Boy third. Dr. Dividend moving fourth with cover. Remember, Nav and Loon Bay Lady. Three out and three in as they go by the half at 103. 
Out of the turn now, they drive on to the 5 8 pool. Lakeside Dusty still the best, and on the outside, Tradition lapped on the leader. Shia Boy a third. Dr. Dividend now fourth. Remember Nev Loon Bay Lady to the three quarter pool, we call. Lakeside Dusty by a head. On the outside, Tradition second. And they're neck and neck and nose to nose as they go racing on by the three quarter pool, and Tradition gets a nose in front. They were by the three quarter pole. One thirty-four and three now Lakeside Dusty again. He takes the top back. Tradition outside. Racing second, Shia Boy right there, third. Dr. Dividend fourth. Remember Ned Loon Bay Lady at the head of the lane. They swing for home. Lakeside Dusty. Tradition challenging second coming on again. Shia Boy. Extreme outside. Loon Bay Lady coming on. Gonna be tight at the line. Lakeside Dusty holds. Tradition, Shia Boy, Loon Bay Lady, tight between Remember Nev, Dr. Dividend, and the time for the mile, 2.06 and 3. The winner of the first race, number one, Lakeside Dusty, Brown Horse 5, the quality blue chip out of friendly Greenwood, she by Newport Robbie, out of a Harry McIntosh of St. John, trained by John Davies, Steve Mahar driving, Lakeside Dusty scoring his fourth winning trip this year. This afternoon, 206 and 3. Race out of the first race official, Lakeside Dusty, your race winner. Shia Boy, third.